Hey there, Libra. I'm D, y'all. Let's play cards. It's been a while since I rang a bell. Uh, the bell, I don't know. It doesn't have a good, like, dinger. I don't know where my bell is that I like. It, like, fucking took off on me. I hit it on myself. I have no idea. It's gone. Anywho, time to go. Endings and completions. Where's the people going? Uh, a blossoming abundance heading right straight for a new beginning. Hopefully. A taste of prosperity. Oh, wow. These are all... And then there's another new beginning. Um, new beginnings with money or wealth that comes in all shapes and sizes. Also, uh, new beginnings in, uh, some personal healing and happiness stuff. Also, the taste of prosperity, the elephants on there with the telepathy and the knowledge of the old shits from the Akashic Records, the stuff that gets p passed down from generation to generation. It's why they know the things that they know. An elephant never forgets, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, milk and honey is about a nurturing abundance, the abundance of the things right here that comes in all shapes and sizes, like I said. So, and Uriel is um, all about soulmate connection, uh, spirit connection, and intuition and inspiration. Exchanging gifts here, uh, patience, family, and anxiety. So let's see what else we got. What comes next? Let's see, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Oh, increasing wealth in value, blossoming abundance. All right. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, milk and honey. Uh, we already, like, talked about these, so I'm just going to fucking keep on going on. So this is about mutual benefit, too, or about the, for the benefit of the, the greater good. Oh, good. There's a tornado warning. Tomorrow, hurricanes up the East Coast. Yeah, there's tornadoes and what? Uh, warnings in the Carolinas. Pennsylvania. Whatever the fuck. So, that shit's like literal, but I don't know. Here we go to like some chaos, like clouds in the horizon. No, that's worse than the clouds in the horizon, isn't it? Burn bridges. Messy. Uh, Archangel Metatron. Um, he's watching. Really watching. Unfinished business. An unfinished symphony. Maybe that's exactly why he's watching here. Building blocks. The people working together. Peace. In peace. All right, y'all, let's see what we got today. All right, what do you got? Five of swords, of course, for the love of God. Ten of swords, really, for the love of God. All right, let's see. What do you got going on here? I just saw a seahorse. Funny, I had him in my ear the other day. Ears. I do like them. They have a great um, message, too. Uh, seven of Swords. And there's the motherfucking fox with the animals. Uh-huh. So, the, the fucking seahorse, like, withstands, like, all sorts of turbulence. And it, it is fucking can-do kind of fucking strength. A can-do kind of attitude. So, also, it's the males that have and do the egg things. And so, that's, that's, why are they fucking asexual? I don't have time to dig. All right, what do you got with this, um, the endings? Thank you, the fool. And the six of cups. Time to go. A completion. So, there's a new door ahead. One would hope these things would be in it, but then it's followed by a storm, so whatever the fuck. I mean, this is uh, Welcome to Tarot with D. 
Ooh, the fool. A child, an Aries, a uh, new opportunity that is on the other side of this door. Doesn't have to be a child. It could just be a new beginning in anything that is a, a, a creation that needs building and loving and growing and nurturing. Six of Cups, the past. So the fool and the nostalgia and the soulmates. And so, you know, let's see. The Page of Fire. That's a messenger, seven of wands. An opportunity to send a message. Yo, come on, why are you gonna throw them on the floor? Because we like to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wanna hear me want to groan in this dumbass fucking vessel. Uh, we need a hold real quick because if I don't fucking ask for the shift now, I'm not going to get it. I can't see for shit. Anywho. So we get text messages at my work about filling in for places and they just open up shifts. This place has been open for 30 years. It's hard to get a job there and to get shifts. I have three, but I would like another one, especially on Saturday. Uh, yeah, so hopefully, I mean, there's only three of us that have seen this. So hopefully I said me first because that's the way it works. Anywho, uh... Plus, I feel in a lot. I like a lot, a lot. I only have three shifts, but I'm there like five days a week anyways. Six, sometimes doubles as well. I work extra. So back to this. Page Cups is child energy as well. So an apology, a fool's apology, some sort of fool feelings, foolish feelings here. Here comes the fool. Uh, strength. Leo. Five of cups. Feeling bad about some shits. Six of cups. If I add that up, that's that's what the six of cups is. Someone's thinking they, they need a they need to listen to something. And it's like, what was me as well? Like, where, where, where? Higher offense. Having to do with, like, I don't know, leveling up taking responsibility, some sort of acceptance. I'll take that. Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> Ace of Wands. Six of Wands. Ace of Swords. Ooh, Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Somebody has got some like aha moment going on with the Ace of Wands uh, about an investment, about the future, about what the connections to the future. Uh, also, Seven of Wands is... Uh, a lot of making headway or getting ahead or there's a lot of like spunk I guess and the six of wands is um, you know victory and success it's also being very popular and attention somebody's been getting a lot of attention there's another fucking ace right here ace of swords and the ace of and so the ten of swords is an ending a painful ending also is some sort of martyrdom you know there's no there's no prize at the end for being an asshole you know there's no prize for just be kind everyone y'all all right so somebody want, wants to say something obviously they want to take action to say the thing the message of air maybe they don't know how to say it i said the seven of wands and there it is right there the eight of swords like how to break free from the the rat race the mind fuck here and it might be a text message, it might be a physical whatever showing up in the location of the people, but three aces, that's pretty wild. Somebody wants to make like some peace offering or something. What's this blossoming abundance? I mean, it does look like a coin, which some of these kind of look like, but they tend to be like the flowers and the animals if you really look at them. Oh, there's coins in there too. Two of them, three of them. I don't fucking know, how can you even can't see shit. The chariot. What are you doing, chariot? King of swords heading straight for you. 
or you're heading straight for someone someone is fucking stressed out about the honesty and the energized efforts and the moving forward and again the the driving and the moving and the comings and the goings i don't know somebody the moon three of swords you don't know this you don't know nine of swords that somebody's feeling some type of way i guess Somebody's having an anxiety fucking attack. Oh my God, this person's holding their heart. No. That's temperance. So you have Cancer and Sagittarius out here. Three of Wands about the future. Somebody's having heart palpitations over uh, what's going to be happening, I guess. The world. Also the future some closure or something another three judgment and the moon and the three of swords another motherfucking three so yikes page of cups again with the anxiety and the feelings and the thoughts here about the six of cups the thoughts the, the page of cups and the six of cups is the seven of cups that is thoughts about this page one, about some some message, some messenger, some child, some new creative spark here. Oh, yep, more messages. Some message has taken a long time to like get through, or someone has taken a long time to get get it through to someone. All right, what's behind the king? Oh my god, it's that Queen of Pentacles, y'all. Five of Wands. Like, who are you? Seven of Swords, the Fox. Okay. A thief. All right, what's this all this uh, milk and honey shit's about? The taste of prosperity and whatever the fuck else I said it was. The Page of Cups again. That's three times, y'all. Ah, uh, somebody just came on. I, I don't know. They can't stop thinking, they can't stop feeling, like, energetically it feels like a pulling towards somebody is compelled. Six of Cups from the past to come forward. And uh, Mercury, I thought it wasn't going until re retrograde until October, but it's August through uh, the, the beginning of October, so. You know, here we go with the coming back of the people and things. They never stop coming back or around anyways, just saying. Oh, y'all, Ian, last night, funny thing, standing in a hotel parking lot watching someone, like, get out of their car, go hide something underneath, like, the parking lot lantern. And of course, my face is like, what the fuck is going on in front of my eyes? So... We investigated and it ends up being like this um like note where people sign there's a website to go like go check in it's like a treasure hunt but no treasure and the hotel there was like nothing around there no scenery no nothing weird shit and of course like drugs bombs whatever who knows what i, mean, I wonder this is crazy so weird weird shit just weird shit is happening people are weird they do weird things hiding things like <sighs> so you know that can be a little bit closer to home than the parking lot shit but uh there's some childish stuff around here with all these this page stuff and the six of cups keep coming out and that that is the seven of cups together and then there's the fox the seven of swords <sighs> So, I don't know what the lies and the deception having to do with the past, about the past here, about love, about an offer of love. Holy shit, again. Six of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups, Pentacles, and Swords. Somebody's like trying to block your victory and success. The past feels burdened by your victory and success. Uh, it's like you're like, uh... Of course, somebody is not even telling you these things, so I don't know. These people just like... 
keep this shit to themselves here while you're like doing whatever you're doing. Somebody's watching you do whatever you're doing. Uh, yeah. What's this storm? The chariot, a broken bridge. A... So seven of cups, I keep talking about it. There it is. Uh, somebody's heading for you here to like maybe mend this bridge or trying to cross this broken bridge or this whole thing is turbulent. Nobody is sure how the seven of cups, the things are gonna end up here. Also, uh, two of wands, nobody's sure. Two of wands, how the things are gonna end up, but that is absolutely like more travel. The seven of pentacles again. Heading towards like future investments, choosing the future, choosing to invest, choosing to spend time here, maybe even choosing to like mature, apologize, grow up. I'm looking at the page of cups like a fucking den. Ah, the messenger of fire. So that is like uh, immature, irresponsible, irrational, erratic, moving it is the traveler of the deck and the player of the deck and maybe even some shit stirring. So, you know, uh, I wish I could make this fit better in a way that I angle that I liked it, but it's not working out. So this is what we got for right now until I move the things around. Uh, the octopus, I fucking knew it. Y'all, I'm like thinking earlier, I never ever play with this deck of cards. I just split it in half and I've been talking about an octopus energy. <clears throat> the earthworm, that's all about regeneration and like coming home and like getting down to the nitty gritty there. Also very shy and quiet and you don't see them and they only come out blah, blah, blah. and the bee. All right, so, you know, I don't know. The octopus is also like a little bit uh, out, out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm not big on the fucking water stuff, but the octopus has a lit intuition here um but it doesn't know all the things that it thinks it knows um as so the octopus um maybe can't believe or somebody doesn't believe let's see treat people the way that you want to be treated uh, 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 and only accept acceptable behavior to see if you if you accept unacceptable behavior, you will continue to get unacceptable fucking behavior. Shit. All right, y'all. Like, don't be trying to, like, bend my shit, okay? Why are you getting mad at me? I'm just a messenger. Fuck. If it seems like someone's out to get you, chances are, Libra, they are. Or you're out to get someone because it goes both ways. Spiritual matters, that's like an interference with uh, spirit or awoke with spirit. And we did already talk talk about Uriel, which has to do with your crown chakra and the connection with spirit. Stop overthinking something. Someone's overthinking some shit. There's no such thing as a coincidence. It says pay attention as well. Uh, embrace the beautiful mess that you are listen to learn not to respond processing information so there's definitely info coming in one day all the sacrifice will make sense coal plus pressure equals diamond so proposals and shits and the diamond and the rough like the people they don't even know what they don't know here uh, and then I just looked that over and it says your inspirational quote has inspired me to unfriend you so you know uh, removing people from your world, maybe, but we've been doing that for like a long time. That's like a normal ass thing too. I guess they come and they go, they go and they come. And so you may not be talking to this people. You've removed each other from the worlds of the peoples here. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. 
Failure to prepare. I did. Wasn't this the fucking title the other day? Failure to prepare is preparing to feel red flags. Pay attention. Lessons. Karma. So what did I already do here? All right, what's up with the motherfucking octopus? Just real quick, yeah. With the far-reaching tentacles. Huh, creative. I was talking about the creative thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, nine. Details, details, details. Handle carefully, precise, perfect, and a lot of motherfucking details. Also, like, somebody is really fragile here. So, we already talked about the elephants, but on the time to go, uh, let's see. They, the elephant removes the obstacles, doesn't go around anything, goes through it, heads to where it needs to get to. And the messenger just went on the floor. Oh, that's a green light, also traveling, uh, getting where the people need to go. It has some information here. News, a visitor, delivery, goals, full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. So, I don't care how you get here. Just get here. All right, that said, moving on. I just put it down though, so what is this? What's this time to go, energy? Oh boy. And, you know what else is crazy? The hotel, there was a chess tournament. The most quietest bunch of people ever. Uh, anyways, there's an opponent lurking around. There's been some sort of like delay tactics. Some blocking. Or somebody, I don't know, there's an opponent. It's competitive. There's some sort of confusion here about the moon. The moon is confused about who's divine feminine. There's like a face off maybe about who's in charge or larger than life. I would say the elephant is a larger than life energy. Examine the fine print, very important details, get more information. Uh, people are getting that shits all over the place and I don't know, from other people here. People are coming to, to there's a diamond. Very important, examine clarity. Larger than life. Can I have another one? Ooh. A good omen, monogamy, and stamina. It looks like this has been, like, forged. Like, you have closed the door on the past stuff, on, on, on a lot of shits here. But it just wants to, like... Creep. Somebody wants to talk to you. Oh, very important details. I also feel like oh, this could be a proposal for work or marriage or moving or anything uh, proposal-wise. And the diamond, of course, again. Somebody's not talking about some stuff, that's for sure. And people are watching, trying to figure out maybe what you're going to do, or... There's more communication and paperwork. All in for what you love is what it says right here, with the monogamy and the shits and the family and the uncommon bonds. What's this right here? Blossoming abundance. Unconditional love, the Celtic knot. <sighs> eternal love love of a lifetime uh the magnet i told you people, things are being compelled or whatever pulled in 11 11 oh 
boy. Restoring harmony. And there's that bridge with the breaking open of like a releasing of some energy. Uh, ooh, there's an epiphany. And the fool and the empress. So that's the mother and the child here. So there's some aha moment coming in like rich in, rich in family. The abundance, the love, it comes from love, Hierophant. And there's that fucking queen of earth, like right there. Somebody's about to get fucking... I don't know. I don't know. But look at, I'm like, she's right there. Like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Something to do with a Taurus. It doesn't have to be a woman. It could be any earth sign as well. It could be a feminine, other, like Virgo, Capricorn, whatever. Someone's been trying to like sweep you out or keep you away or keep something at bay here. But like, I don't know, the abundance is around you and the people, they can't, they can't help but just look anyways. The milk and honey, thank you. Third party, the rivals, the fucking jealous. And why? I don't, I, why is everyone so jealous here? Other people's influences, spirit, because you're rich in other ways here. And other people can see them and they don't even know why, maybe that they're jealous, the fire. <sighs> they don't even know why. They don't know. They don't know magic. Mercury with the retrograde and the shits here. Just so you can see it. Expect the unexpected. Source energy, the Akashic records, prime element, you're in it. And the other people, it's like blindingly obvious. Uh, the life force and the things are working together to move people around here. A woman. I've seen two different women. With, with, with women. So what about this one? Divine intervention. No, that's too much. I'll tell you that. Duality. Who knows? Perfect timing. Libra. Capricorn. King of Earth. The devil. Fuck you, Lucifer. I thought we just, like, had a talk. <sighs> and now these guys are moving over here. Yeah, a heart to heart. Look at it. I'm like, I thought. We just had a conversation before I went and turned the camera on. The Ace of Cups and the Eight of Swords about some serious shits. But anywho, taking a leap of faith, prosperity, so what, a change in direction, um, you know, justice for some devil energy, a leveling up. There is magic out here for sure because spirit is everywhere. And also, I'm like, you know, it's like an aura, like the people can see, like, I don't know, this is like the bat light. It feels like it's just out there. You can't. You can't not see it. It just it just gets lit up with the fireflies. Forgiveness. What's on the floor? The fire again. Twin flames. A reflection of a home, of a family, a come to Jesus, a cross. It's a spirituality. It's a crisis. Ooh, oh, stop it. It's a crisis. Power struggles here with the Wolverine. The motherfucking shit's messy with the Leo and the fucking lion and the tower and the fucking stalemate again with the lover's soulmate shit. The process of stepping stones. Like the people, the world, temperance, Sagittarius, Gemini, winning at all costs, victory here, success, ambition. So what does Sagittarius want? This is family members and stuff like that with the new beginnings and the desire and the com being compelled and propelled because they're, you're all motherfucking soulmates here and there's hiding and hoarding and secrets and shits like that. And you know what? I just fucking stuffed in. Get back here. Virgo. So the time has come. The col collimation, add some shit up. I don't know. Something's adding up. An awakening. More soul, soulmate stuff here. Clock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Yeah. Key information. Somebody is the motherfucking key, okay? To everything. As far as like the family goes, I guess. 
guys. Child out of nowhere. More information, some motherfucking climax and an unexpected rendezvous. So that's more out of nowhere. Magic, break free, mother, self-interest, sneaky. Some, some, there's some separation out here having to do with the past life, soulmate, and the personal growth and shits like that. Lineage. People's health could be fucked up as well because of whatever the hell is going on. Stalemate. The fucking, it's wicked annoying. Like, whatever. and stuff. Thinking is difficult and that's why most people judge. Yeah. Okay. We know. We know. We've got a bunch of judgy people everywhere. Do it my way. All right. What do we got? It's a VIP. Very important. The people pay attention to you. They can't even fucking help themselves. They look, 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 look. Uh, so that says stalker. Scandal. Interview. Uh, star. So something to do maybe with an Aquarius. Tabloids. VIP. And adoring crowds. So glitz. The, the people, they, they, they can't help themselves, okay? Somebody we could be taking pictures of you. Or you're taking pictures of someone. Someone's trying to escape some karma or escape some dealing with something here, an emperor energy, someone that thinks they, they're ahead of the game or in charge of some shits. But little do they know the elephant in the room, the people should deal with the stuff. This person's an ostrich. They just like to stuff their head in the sand and pretend that the things don't exist, but they actually do. Karma, salvation, and this says domestic abuse behind there. It also says family squabbles. And this says karma. And it says immortal, really. Uh, and the reincarnated, the heaven and hell. I told you dark magic, but the... <clears throat> there's more magic. But there's people, reality. Like, people think this ain't, this ain't that, but this is that. Yeah, and uh, you know what, Lucifer? I have friends in high and low places. You, It's a hierarchy, y'all. Hierarchy. So, just because he was pa passed out. Lucifer was cast out doesn't mean that he is um, not still under the umbrella of God. He's doing what he was cast out to do. And he's still doing it. And he's very good at it. So, it's a shitty job. Someone's got to do it. It's like the fucking garbage. Someone's got to fucking clean it up. They get paid well. Just saying. Not that there's anything wrong with garbage men, but I don't know. I couldn't think of anything else. What is this? Dollhouse. I tried to put that away. Something about maybe a carpenter or banging something, relocating something, taking walls down, putting them up, banging nails. Thank you. Ooh, something is small. Someone is small. Something about an antique store or role-playing. Something's haunted. Someone's haunted. Uh, someone, 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 someone. I don't fucking know. Something about furniture and shit. In childhood with the children and the stuff. Uh, some people, like, I don't know, the Big Bang Theory, it says out here. And there is more. This says parenting. But also, there is only one winner here, okay? We're not... We're not all winners. We're not all meant to have that that role. That's mine. And we're all, no, we can't all do it. Okay, a faded event. That's not the way that the fucking shit works out here with the soulmates and the family stuff. So, I don't know, condemned. And then I just saw a ghost and two men, an older one and a younger one. They may be family talking about you here, aristocrats, some snobby people. Maybe they think they're privileged and better than everyone else with the history and that family tradition. In the inheritance of, I don't know, royalty, fuck if I know, snobby, fox hunt, manners, servants, privileged wealth, old money, mm -mm, noble title, there's a horse, it's a one horse town, not enough room, yeah, well, I'm a motherfucking unicorn, okay, people, so this says an equestrian competition, but let's just, that or a competition, right? Aristocrat, again, the people thinking they're better than the other motherfucking people. And anything that has to do with the horse here, but whatever. Yeah, the soul is definitely all about some karmic shit, magic and spiritualism. And the reincarnated of the things. And they look, like I said, there's only one person that wears the crown here. 
So, uh, there's that. The jester, somebody's a joker. Somebody is funny. Monarchy. Hierarchy, monarchy, patriarchy, whatever the fuck, archy. You hear what I'm saying? Okay? It also says war, revolution, and long live the fucking king. And it says dental care, so watch your fucking teeth. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm trying to pay a little bit more attention to these because, you know, some of these words I never, ever, ever, ever focus on. And they could have something to do with absolutely nothing. There's a lot of castles and shits out here. And nobility. Uh, and the ailing person, you know, pain, mourning, sadness, priest, family gathered, confession, and a whole bunch of sick shit. And somebody might replay somebody's last words or some last word, some last fucking stolen replay in someone's head. It's like, uh, the whole world can hear it amplified. Like, spirits, like, can we please shut this off? I'm so sick of hearing it. Somebody could be a narcissist. Uh, nar, 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 nar. You got it. Narcissist here. A holiday. Somebody needs a vacation. Historic sites, sightseeing, something about train stations, maybe boats. What are the fuck is out here? Uh, planes and airports. This is the sun, too, so it's totally like a big Leo. Yay, climax, exciting. We'll see. What are we supposed to see over here about things adding up? Do they add up here? Find your way home. Uh, a stray dog. I don't know what's up with all the dogs, but something's up with the fucking dogs. Okay, so, all right, you're pushing that out, huh? That's a lot, y'all. A lot from something may have to do with lawyers, divorces, fucking class action, examining something, some subpoena, some judge, some, I don't fucking know, witness tampering, uh, and uh, DNA, families everywhere. Someone could need some sort of surgery here or other meaning of life. There's a couple death, actually quite a bit of death out here, just saying. Wildlife, very important. An endangered species. Why are we endangered? Because the government and some shits like that. Is that more of communication in the house? Like, we've already seen these. They come out in the, the other deck here. So, you know. And is that more than one? No. Yes. Law firm and lawyer. They're relatively the same. They got the same shits on them. So, whatever. Oh, the government. Five years, something or other. Ambition. A lot of that out here. Maybe he, people are hiding the stuff. There's some scandal, maybe. Corruption, a coup, and uh, I don't know, politics. Official secrets. A faded event here full of secrets to come out. A riddle. Uh, gatekeeper. Hidden meanings. Initiation test. Leveling up. Something about people's passwords and stuff. Follow the clues here. Insomnia follow bad health some someone's in bad health like literally these both say bad health ptsd maybe or i don't know some personality disorder whatever the fuck but stress bad dreams heartbreak truth you can't handle dr jekyll and mr hyde and you know shape-shifting mutation uh hermit sex change i was kind of that kind of like in the beginning i was like oh maybe that's a thing i don't know it says surgery again on here something about miracles and mutations but whatever the fuck cover-ups with the truth over here oath of office uh lie detector pathological liar perjury oracle uh failure to prepare is preparing to fail in denial about some shits here somebody's a con man or like i don't know they think they get everyone fooled but Ah, oh, it's a corpse. It's another dead person. And there's a detective again with the pay attention to the clues and the shits. Corruption. Someone about a police department. And a cult. A cultist. Grandmaster. Guru. Elite. Magic, magic, magic. And self-improvement, brainwashing as well with right next to the fucking truth too. Woo! Give all that, y'all. But with the Matrix people thinking that, that they can keep us fooled forever. You know, there's a lot of bad hurt feelings in here. Gossip, justice, and the, a big corporation defeats supernatural evil in prison. 
Like, what in the world is that? I have no idea. Is there like something on the guard? I don't know. So maybe digging up some old dirt on some things or just digging up dirt. Or so there's some shit about history, something about a crime scene, inscription, cemetery, pottery. I don't know, some old old stuff, maybe. Stuff that's been buried long long time wasn't i saying about burying bodies in yards the other day a lost civilization re-education heroic battle holy water army of the dead black magic poltergeist exorcism demonic forces demonic forces told you lucifer was he a justice coming to collect Inequality, revenge, and uh, vigilanteism, playing by the rules, making an amends, right or wrong, karma, payback, convicted in court, stockholders, glass tower, takeover, a monopoly, shareholders, family. Uh, some people think they got all, got it all. Yeah. Monsters, pulling off a heist like the shit will work until it doesn't work or something mutually assured destruction look at the shit will work until it doesn't work i don't know someone did some stuff here with the soulmates and the family and stuff out to get the people and i don't know went out of their way out to get people maybe prostitute police bible gold digger i don't know jackpot again throwing up roadblocks for people to fall by just point the finger Troubled past. I don't know. It's that one's fault. That one, that one, that one. Somebody is uh, un unrecognizable. I can't even make the shit up. Mistaken identity. And so, shame on you. Shame on someone, okay? Idiot. Fuck me. The energy, I don't know. It's all getting bigger, y'all. Bigger and bigger and bigger. I, I think that's all I, I, I have for right now. And I'm going to go, like, breathe or something. Okay. Until next time. Silly.